Are you looking for peace of mind at your doorstep? Look no further. With the Blink Video Doorbell, your home's entrance is always within your control. Check out the link in the video description to learn more and get your Blink Video Doorbell on Amazon. Your home is in your hands. Walmart shoppers are bashing the megastore for several mistakes the chain has made. Several shoppers have expressed their frustration that the retailer seems to frequently be ill-prepared for shoppers. Walmart has faced the brunt of these attacks on social media, with many of its shoppers lambasting the chain for various mistakes. One user slammed the retailer on Monday after he was accused of stealing an item at the self-checkout machines. At Walmart doesn't have bags, see that the user in a post on X. Makes you scan your own stuff. Then accuses you of stealing water, when she couldn't find it initially on the receipt. She found it. Last time I'm coming here. One commenter suggested that the user take their business to Aldi instead. However, it was revealed that the closest one near the original poster had recently closed. It was then the poster revealed that they were going to sign up for a Sam's Club membership pronto, but was dissuaded when a commenter told him that it was a division of Walmart. Welp, never mind, the user wrote. Our channel reached out to Walmart for comment. This is not the first time a social media user has complained about the chain. One user said that one of Walmart's receipt checkers laid hands on her husband as they attempted to leave an Oklahoma store. At Walmart one of your Karen receipt police put their hands on my husband while we were leaving because she wanted our receipt, the user wrote in the post. She placed her hand on my husband's arm to express her opinion. If this happens again this conversation will be had on a different platform than X. Walmart's customer service account quickly responded to the account. In an effort to curtail retail crime, stores are increasingly turning to receipt checks as shoppers exit. Legally, stores can ask to see a customer's receipts, and membership-only stores have the right to demand such checks if shoppers agreed to terms and conditions that authorize it. Many legal professionals have weighed in and come to similar conclusions, caveating that all states do have specific laws. Generally speaking, Stores have shopkeepers' privilege laws that allow them to detain a person until authorities arrive when they have reasonable suspicion that a crime, like theft, has been committed. Declining to provide a receipt is not a reason in itself for a store to detain a customer. They must have further reason to suspect a shopper of criminal activity. Due to the recent nature of the receipt checks, there is little concrete law on the legality of the practice, as it takes time for law to catch up with technology. Setliff Law PC claims that there is no definitive case law specifically relating to refusal to produce a receipt for purchases. For stores that improperly use their shopkeeper's privilege, they could face claims of false imprisonment. The primary law that applies to these types of wrongful detention cases is called false imprisonment, explained Hudson Valley local attorney Alex Mainetti. Of course, you're not literally imprisoned, but you're detained by a person who has no lawful authority to detain you and or wrongfully detains a customer. It is likely that as altercations in stores over receipt checks continue, more court cases will occur giving clearer definitions and boundaries to the legality of receipt checks. Matters like this are very serious, and we'd like to know more. Could you please send a DM with more information, the account wrote. It is unknown if the woman responded to the superstore. One user put the store on blast after she was forced to show her receipt after using the store's controversial self-checkout machines. You're wrong in this one. I hate having to show my receipt to the people who just watched me check out my own stuff at Walmart, the woman complained. And all these other stores are paying these people to stand around while I do their work, I'm not having it. A third user took to Facebook furious at the store's anti-theft policy. Another Walmart rant, see that the customer. If you're going to have four employees watching over everyone in the self-checkout area, and then have another one watching receipts of only the people exiting the self-checkout lanes on the way out, obviously you don't trust people to shop there. If that's the case, then shut down the self-checkout and use those FI.